welcome back everyone today i have another video this time we're playing sakatsuki we're playing it in the rank queue and we're gonna play only competitive decks if possible uh because uh this week and next week uh, i mean we're trying to prepare have more testing against for nat for nats so definitely gonna just be doing that if you've seen uh this week we had two streams with andrew so um he's gonna be playing just uh like the most competitive decks at the moment just because of the same reason to help you everyone out and um yeah i'll be doing the same i will, will not be doing the streams but i will be just doing the videos here uh, as regular and andrew if you want to check out we've already did, did two streams that were i, I thought they would look pretty good if you don't know andrew he's a very well competitive well known player in like different card games so um definitely like you should look go and look at his insights for all the decks it's really it's really good and um this sakatsuki deck that i'm seeing here i'm gonna do the the deck profile here um just to save myself some time because i don't have too much time today um hina i mean same sakatsuki list that everyone is playing uh i'm just uh using some like the most generic list this is now probably not what i will end up playing but this is just something that i everyone is playing and i just wanted to play some sakatsuki uh with this um yeah hina at three i don't like the card too much but it has its moments so i'll, I'll let it slide uh borsalina of course at three drag kaido you have to play kaido I already like you if you don't then yellow can actually not yellow but like um NL can actually beat you. So this is the card that beats NL. So you have to have this card for NL. And the mirror too. The mirror is insane too. And everything else is just uh ten to K Connors. Uh the same ten cards like Mancherry, like everything the, there's some cards that are inter interchangeable for whatever you like in it. Uh but this is what I'm playing right now. Um we've been trying ulti instead of Hina. Uh, or ulti with Hina, but like it, it's like whatever you want to do really at that point. Uh, this deck is like the same 48 cards and some extra cards, so uh, don't read too much into the cards that we have in the deck profile here. Uh, let's go. Right, I'm gonna play. keep this hand is not bad. Uh, I'm gonna cycle this one. Now it feels bad because uh, I should have actually cycled with their option first. That was my bad. I cycled first and then I cycle again. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not bad, but could be too much. We only have this one. We definitely do want to cycle that one, though. And then attack for six. Uh, here, uh, dragon is going to be good here for us, so I don't mind this. I kind of just want to hit some cost reduction cards now because I have too many of Lucius. Definitely, that's what we're, we're going to be doing this turn. Playing Lushi, he has to answer with uh, his own thing, with another Lushi back to us. And then uh, we'll see what happens from there. I'll take the first life, I think. Because that doesn't feel good for us here. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's maybe it's not okay to take the life. I'm going to have a, like two cycles, so it doesn't feel that bad, to be honest. Just need the cost reduction, but I don't want him to do like a humble is next turn. I mean, have it to take it and go to two. That would be really bad for us. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna block. And then we'll draw. We have humble is, so that's that's good. This one we're gonna attack. Draw one car. I don't know why it shakes so much. It's so weird. And then we're gonna do this. I just bad because his Rob Lucian is gonna be much better than us. But we still need to do this play because if we let this one die, it's gonna be a problem for us. Uh, now I can take this damage, I guess. It's fine. Um. He's gonna do Rob Lushi, I assume. What I want to do is find a Rebecca. Well, we're missing two cards in this matchup here right now. Okay, he does Rob Lushi, of course, but he didn't. He did it incorrectly, I think, because he needed to minus this one, right? Yeah. But yeah, no, he. No, no, he did it. I think it didn't. Didn't matter. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I guess I can just do this one, force him to attack it. So then we're cycling her. 
That's not bad. Attack for five. Force him to have a second Rob Lucci here. Which he could have. It's not like the most aggressive thing that he could not have. And then we'll go Rob Lucci again. One, two, three. Kill that one. Uh, he might go... But the nice thing here, he might go like seven drop um, for Salino. But if anything, we have this play here. Oh, he's gonna do Rob Lucci most likely, you know. Oh, Hound plays. He's gonna attack the, the chick. And right, you know what? That's not bad. Because now we can play Hina, this guy. Ooh, even better. Well, no, not better actually. But we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna probably just. Ooh, Tachig is much better, I think. Yeah. Because we go here, minus. Uh, plus 3k here, attack. Then we're gonna draw a car. Oh, we can play that one too. It's not bad. And I think we play it into the dragon. It's that way he plays another Rob Lucy, and then we're the first one to play dragon. I kind of like that. We can attack for six. Ah, uh, it's better to just attack for six, right? Yeah, I'll just attack for six. Let him go. I don't think I'm going to need Mind Cherry because I'm going to play Kaido. So... The nice thing here is that at least I have a Kaido. I mean, I have a, somewhat of a board. He's not a good board into the Kaido, though. But it's something. Oh, nice. Yes. That's good. That's just, this is the best case scenario for us. And then we drop four. Cycle one of the Borsalinos. And we still haven't found the Hina, however. Should be close, right? Uh, that's an important card right now for us. Uh, we do want a combo out of this. We don't want to take damage when we don't have to. Take this one. And then... Um, okay, so he's going to remove it. But we can remove both now. We just need a Hina, please. Do I need both? I guess we can attack it with Houndblaze. We're definitely gonna cycle this guy, right? We didn't find her, so plan B. What's the plan B here? Is it is it this one? I think so, because then we can do brand new and maybe um get a, a Hina Rob Lucy. We can also just do Hound Blaze attack for a bajillion. You know, I don't dislike that one either. Yes, I like that one much, much better. And then, wait, let's play. I guess we, we play Rebecca. Yeah. If he defends this one, I mean, it's fine, I guess. Still gonna play Rebecca. Okay. Now we get back a 2k counter. I mean, getting back a Rob Lucy is not bad. I think Rob Lucy in this spot is actually pretty decent. And we play brand new for free. So we get to get a raw option here, I think is good. So now this is where he needs to have the um, Hound Blazes. Which you could have. It's not bad. It's not difficult. We still haven't found the Hina. That's insane. <laughs> Where is the Hina? <laughs> I've cycled nine cars to the bottom. No, six cars to the bottom. So I've seen plenty of cars to see a Hina. There's no excuse to not see a Hina right now. And I mill with a brand new and, and the likes. I will block. 
I don't want to. Okay. Well, we have the answer for that. So that's good. So now I can just cycle this guy because I'm not going to need two on this one. Then we play Sabo. We can attack 5-5, five, five, but attacking for 7 feels better, doesn't it? Yeah, force him to remove my guy. Combo out of that one. I think it's fine. Or he blocks. Either way, it's, it's okay with me. Sabu is a good play, though, however. There. Requires a very specific answer for me. And still haven't found the, <laughs> the Hina <laughs> to have that as an option. They can do Rebecca another Sabo, could be good. We'll see. We don't have much counter. I mean, we have seven. Let's see what he does. We can go for a big number. Put me low. Seven, I will combo out, however. So unless he goes, it doesn't matter. Like if he goes for Rebecca Lushi combo, we can do that back to him and we will be the ones ahead, I think. Yeah. I think we come up. No, well, kind of. Not necessarily. Ahead, but a little bit ahead. I mean, I, I need a Rebecca for that. <laughs> well, not Rebecca. I mean... Um, come on. Ooh, that opens another avenue where I can play double Luchi. Nah. Not need. Come on. Oh, where are you? I thought I was not going to try it. <laughs> All right. That makes it much more easier here. Um, yeah. Rebecca Lucci combo twice. I think it will be enough here. Uh, here. Yeah. Then we attack. Wait, I guess I should have attacked for six, but whatever. The idea is that we can kill these two. One, two, three. We cannot attack with those. Now he needs to do it back to us again. And then we are in an equal footing, I guess. I guess he'll have Rebecca's. Mmm, nope, blocker, I guess I'll combo, because I have a second Rebecca Lucy combo, so it's fine. Unless he has, oh, Kaido, well, I'll be damned. That I was not expecting. But we do a good impression here. But it doesn't matter if he has the um, attack for seven. Okay, now we do Rebecca. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Eh? Well, I guess we'll do just seven. Just attack for seven, eight. And then attack for eight. We're not going to remove this, but at least we have two blockers. And then he has to... Well, he's still in a good spot here, though. But we have a, a, a huge board, so... As soon as we get a Hound Blaze, which we didn't cycle last turn, so... Or we did we? Maybe we did. I forgot. Maybe we didn't cycle. But, um... I mean, we haven't seen Hound Blaze now, is the card that we are missing. He's missing what? Rebecca's now? He has Rebecca, one, two. He could have Rebecca's now. I mean, he's not in a bad spot at the moment. This Kaido did really put him back into this game. We get to block at least. Show me another, another one of those. 
which you could have it's not like unreasonable and i think i'll have to block with this one actually because blockers don't matter but having the board presence next turn is gonna be good well i guess he's gonna remove one of them right most likely he's gonna do home blaze If he does Hound Blaze, I need to block. Because then he only has two attackers. Alright, whatever. I think I'm just going to block either way. Because I don't want to go to one. And I don't want to combo my hand either. It's been a good game, though. His Dragon was more impactful than mine, though. That's bad. But he does need to remove my board, because if not... Ooh, hold on. That's not as good. That is not as good. That puts him in a path where I can just win. I'm just gonna come um, again. I'm just gonna block this. So I think he's gonna play a Rob Lucy, and I just need to remove both. He's gonna Hound Blaze. Oh, double Hound Blaze. Okay. You know what? I'm okay with this. All right, what do I do? I do this, this, this. I should cycle first. Hina? Oh, Hina's much better, actually. Yes, I like this. I'll go Hina. Rob Lushi. We haven't seen one Houndblaze. Can you believe this? It's insane. Um, I mean, you only seen one Houndblaze, my bad. Uh, I'll go... One, two, three. Kill that one. And then attack for eight. He needs to show me Rebecca Lushi. But that's not even enough. Did I cycle? Yes. I should be close to getting one or two Hound Blazes, right? And that should be enough to win, hopefully. Like, if that's not enough, then nothing is enough. <laughs> now, he needs to remove everything. And even then, a, a, a Hound Blaze can just still be enough. So, um, I would just play two blockers, but I haven't seen any hand blaze, so it's still not good for him. I think we win from here. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, barring that we get a hand blaze here to, to be able to, um, to get through the blockers. And I am assuming he's going to play Rebecca, Lu Rebecca Lucci combo, destroy my two big, my two guys. Okay, well, this is not part of that Rebecca Lucy combo. No, it can still be. Never mind. But then one Hound Blaze is enough, so... Come on! <laughs> and if he attacks me, I'll take everything. I'm looking for Hound Blazes, brother. That's not Hound Blaze. But, it, I mean, it's, an, it's a maybe Hound Blaze. This is when he gets me with the Usopp, the Usopp brush. <laughs> okay. Is he gonna play the Lushi? Well, even if I don't draw the Hound Blaze, I still have like two good attacks here. So it might be enough. So he's hoping that I don't have that car. Well, this might be actually even less, right? Because I can go two and two, that's six. So that's less than six. But give me a blaze. No blaze, eh? In that case... It is just nine, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's two and four. Yeah, nine, nine. If you have nine, nine, you got it.
They didn't have it. Wow. Those home blades were the most <laughs> annoying thing that I couldn't get, eh? All right. Well, we still got it, though. All right. This is a perfect hand for going second, so I'm going to keep it. The reason why is because we have Borsalino and we have Hina. That's a card going second that is good. Uh, Borsalino is not as good, so I'm going to cycle it. It's better going first, but not going second. I mean, it's decent because it, it is removal, so... Depending on what my opponent does, I might just keep it in my hand. Uh, I think I'll find another one. Yeah, let him go. Uh, I think Hina is good. Although, we could, I guess we could have cycled the Hina. Sure, I'm going to take a damage anyway. Um, combo to that one. I don't care about this one. All right, we find a second one, so it kind of paid off. Uh, I'm going to attack a leader, minus one. He didn't play at a three drop, uh, this guy. Um, forgot the name. So we don't really care. Uh, I'll just cycle her, I guess. Ooh, a second Borsalino. That could be really, really powerful for us. Uh, yeah, we're going to take that damage. He's going to play a, a dude. I'm not going to cycle the Ice Ages because I know the Ice Ages are going to be good in this matchup. But next turn, we're going to play Borsalino. And then the next turn... Do I want to waste an Ice Age? Well, we're going to attack for five. And then six. Oh, I should cycle first, I guess. Rosalina is still good against Thunderwall, I guess. Five. I guess I should cycle first. Um, let's get the Borsalino out. Okay, that's not a bad one, but not for this turn. And then, so we're doing Ice Age, I guess. Do minus one on this one. And then we'll do wait, Ice Age. This guy. Let's remove back this guy, this guy, and this guy. This two. Let him go. We have enough Connor here to defend the Borsalino, which is important. Uh seven. He's gonna play a seven drop big mom, I guess. Ideally we draw a eruption. Because that way we don't lose cards from hand. And I can keep up my Ice Age. It's important. All of these things are important. So you're going to attack my Borsalino? No, of course not. That would be a bad play. Oh, now we get to cycle the Hina. It's not, it doesn't feel bad. Okay. So you're going to play something else. This way we also play around cards like Adatsu and other stuff that are very annoying. And I'm kind of looking for another removal spell. Going to zero, honestly, against this deck, it doesn't really matter. Oh, to just play that one. <laughs> I guess you can attack with that one. Okay, I mean, I'll take this. That's good for me. Um, can I do... Let's cycle the Hina first. So I'm not going to play that one. Can I do a buyback, buyback? I can do a buyback, play a Borsalino. I mean, a Rob Lushi. Is that what I want to do? Did I cycle already? I did. I could also play a, a straight up Borsalino. I can buy it back later. Yeah, I kind of like that too. So we go five, six. And play Borsalino. He's going into 9 done, so he's not, I'm not even scared of the 10 drop big mom. And if he heals us once with the uh, the 8 drop, you know what? That's fine. I'm okay with that. Five, six. And then if he plays something out of life, we get to 
uh, send it to the bottom. Unless it's the um, the fat guy from uh, Skype. Yeah, I forgot his name. I don't know his name. All right, fair enough. At least we don't have to play around triggers, so it feels good. And this turn, we're going to do Rebecca Lucy combo. Maybe keep out Borsalino, depending on what happens. So I don't want to be... I mean, if he forces to take the life, of course. If not, he's going to play a big mom, and we don't care. If he doesn't force us to take a life, we are chilling, I think. And like, you see how much like this car has been value for me. Like immense value here. What's he, what is he playing here? And I do want to keep this on board. So what are you playing? Five. All right. So we'll come one out of this one for sure. One, two, and a one. We're definitely just trying to um, not go to zero because next turn he's he's gonna do one or two things. Oh, we have. Ooh. Okay, this turn is insane, actually. How much can I attack with? Attack for five first, in the case of the. Do I need something else? In case he hits another four drop out of life, I need to play, just attack for five. Just in case he gets Saki and hits another four drop out of life. Don't want to be. The one losing because of that. Or something out of life. I want to be able to remove everything this turn. Okay. So we're good. Uh, we're going to play Rebecca here. Minus four. We do Eruption here. And then we have three cards. Yes, we do. We do this one, use action, one, two, th three, scale both, we have a full board, do we need a 2k counter, I don't think I need a 2k counter, I'm trying to dig four, um, no targets, I'm trying to dig for um, an eruption, I mean, uh, yeah, um, a home blaze, so I can next turn kill him through whatever he plays out of life. But yeah, this turn is not possible for him to kill me. Uh, next turn, I'm definitely just attempting to go for game. He only has three cards in hand. Two life at most. I don't I don't think it's going to be a bad for us. Did you see how this card was so good? It attacked for five, like seven times. <laughs> really, really important. I'm just going to block with this. He's going to play Big Mom anyway. All right, we're going for game. Let's see if we're gonna need a cycle this guy, I guess. All right, we're gonna have a blocker at least, I guess. But we're not gonna need it. We're gonna attack for sevens. Sevens. Does he have a trigger? He does. Okay, well, attack for a nine now. Because then it's impossible for him to have both answers for this. Yeah, there you go. 10. Last three triggers were good, but not as good. Not enough to win here. There you go. That, that's usually how this matchup goes. They can only play one. You should only allow them to play one big mom. Because if they play multiple big, big moms, you're going to lose. Yeah, that, that's when Sakatsuki is going to lose. It's going to be very difficult to remove this. So you have to be the aggressor in this All right, matchup. it's Luffy. We're going second. No, we're going first. So I guess we'll keep. I, keeping a, a hand light on removal is kind of bad, though. That's what I don't like about this hand. But we get to cycle a lot here going first. So uh, I guess I'm going to keep. I think it's a bad hand to keep, but I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do it for the science. So I don't have much removal, and I think this matchup is all about how much removal do you have. Oh, okay. We're going to be playing the uh, Water 7 uh, Kuro engine. That's cool. That's cool. It makes sense in a way. It makes doesn't not doesn't make sense in others. Ooh, ooh. I thought I hit end by accident. 
All right, we have one card that does removal. And if we don't have a play next turn, we're going to do this one. So the cycle for this one. Oh, that's a perfect card here. Actually kind of perfect. I, I kind of want to see um, a, whatchamacallit, a, um, forgot his name, <laughs> a Rob Lucci. But uh, I'll take this, I guess. It's not the worst. Uh, you go Magellan. And I go remove your, your Magellan. Ooh. Second for five. I'll take it. Ooh, Rob Lucci. No, I'm, I'm, I, like, if I lose this one, it should be on me, I think. This hand is way too good. Especially if he doesn't have Magellan. Oh, although I took a damage. So now he can play the four drop. And he can take good cards out of my hand. But you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, he wants to play the Magellan anyway. But I shouldn't have taken now that I think about it. That, that's a, a misplay on my end. Because if he goes... Let's see first if we can get a... What can we get here? Well, we're not going to play Sabo for sure. I guess we're going to play Zoro. We're going to attack 6, attack for 5, minus 1. That's what I meant. Oh, well, we might actually play the Sabo next turn. That was a bad cycle, I think. Then we do Zuru. And then we do this one. Increase the power and attack for seven. Feels great because he has to take. Or combo two are also great too. I don't mind. What doesn't feel great is that I had to use the Zoro. That does not feel great. But if he plays a second Magellan, what I can do is just put him to zero or attack for big numbers. If we play something else that is not a Magellan, then we get to do some other stuff. Although I don't have cost reduction cards, that's, that's the problem here. I mean, I have the Zoro, but it's not the greatest reduction card. He gets to play the seven drop. I mean the that guy. It's not as good here. You know what? You got it. Serve as a blocker. I didn't want to combo any cards. But I had to because again of the, the threat of that car. Now we got seven drops, which is like the best car in our deck. Against this deck. Um I guess we're doing six, right? Well, let's cycle first. I'm sorry. Oh, eruption. I love you. Attack minus one. I don't want to go minus. Minus is terrible. <laughs> and then we go Rob Lushi. Use action. One. Oh, wait. This was the combo first, but doesn't matter. Let him go. Now I feel really confident because he cannot. I mean, he can play the Kaido. And that would be a decent play. Like a really good play, actually. Because we don't have exact removal into a Kaido right now. So a Kaido could be really good here. But if I get to remove the Kaido next turn, the game is over. And it's not like we we just need a removal spell that doesn't require us to do anything else. Because I have Zuru and this. Okay, no, this is great for us. Because whatever he's playing, I can remove it with for Selena. So at this point, I think I am way too favored to win here. Mm, I'll play this one, I guess. I don't want to do her. I mean, she's good in this matchup, but um, I don't want to do it right now. I don't actually, I don't want to cycle her out, actually, either. It's weird. Attack for six. Combo. I mean, you should block. You should get some value out of this. But I cannot. I guess I could attack it, so that feels really bad, too. 
this forces him to forces me to deal with it this way. Now I don't want to play him. I mean I don't want to cycle her in 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 case of a. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cover all my bases here, so I'm just gonna cycle this one. Now I don't need it, but I just wanted to have like I Hina plus this, so I can remove a a nine drop. I just needed to have that, but now I can just do so many things. Uh, it's crazy. I can just buy back uh, Rob Lucci if he kills it, if he plays a Kaido or whatever he plays. Or we can just play Hina. I mean, we have so many options. It doesn't matter. I do want to get some counters to my hand, so that's why my cherry is going to be good. Just get back some of these Rebecca's and force him to attack it. Great. It is definitely what I want to be doing, but I don't want to go to zero too either. So depending on how much he attacks with here is what's going to matter. Or why he does this turn, really. If he only plays one card, then he plays well into our Borsalino turn. If he plays multiple, then... I mean, we'll see what, what happens from there. And I will combo out of whatever attack he does here. Even with Rebecca, if he attacks for like 10 or something like that, something crazy. So I can use my Man Cherry, get back cards, and he has to... I get to remove whatever 5 drop he plays, and also... I get to use my cherry, so it feels great if it that if that's what he does. You could do double Magellan though. That would be a play that I don't like to see will not like to see. But here, I mean it's just it's, it's a hard matchup for Luffy. No, I'm not gonna sugar cut it here. Uh we're gonna combo a 2k. Then ideally, I get a, um, a what you might call it, a, uh, a Rob Lucy. But he's not attacking. My, he's attacking my leader all the time, so so not make it an easy. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's cycle her because we don't need her. Let's cycle this one because I draw the Rob Lucy. I did not, so we're gonna play this one, and then we're gonna play uh, Man Cherry. Minus one. And attack with this two is fine. Get a two K counter and feel okay about my decisions here. He took it. Oh, he's he didn't trigger. The only trigger that I know on this uh, deck. Yeah. Thought it was like one, two, I guess. Get back this. Let him go. The man cherry here is amazing because you can, it forces him to attack it or I get another 2k counter. And he doesn't want to see that. <laughs> that would be not ideal for him. And if ever my Rob Lucy dies, I can buy it back, use double Humblies and just kill everything he plays so yeah it worked out this hand didn't have removal in the beginning and I, I as i'm saying this early game not having removal feels really really oh what is this oh okay it's not gonna draw cards <laughs> that's the whole point of this card <laughs> it draws cards i guess it's gonna do double five drop double like magellan or double oh well, I'll be Tam. Never mind. He's going for it. And I guess he can attempt to. But I have a 2k counter, so it doesn't work anymore. So I just need a removal for this and effectively over. Actually, just over next turn. What is he going to do here? I also, I comboed the wrong one. Zero should have been the one that I combo, but I have two double eruptions, so it doesn't matter. And yeah, I mean, next turn, I can just attack with everything. He attacks my board, but then next turn, I remove it, probably, somehow, some way. 
and then he's still in a really tough spot. Even if he attacks my two bo cards on board, the next turn I get to go all in, and then he still won't be able to go for game. So it feels really bad for him. All right, we're gonna go. Oh, they're gonna go first. Oh, that's good. So we get to Mulligan here. Oh, this hand is good too. We can deal with the one. Oh my god, this is so good. We could even combo. Let's see. We're going second. This might happen actually. No, this might not happen actually. So I should just send it to the bottom. Um, I think I need the eruption. It's fine. I'm going to take five here. I mean, seven. Unless, no way. He might attack just for five. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Well, um, let's see what we get here. I mean, I'm not gonna play this one, right? Well, this feels really awkward. I guess I'm doing how blaze this thing, right? I mean, honestly, if he wants to discard another card just trying to do that, I'm okay with that. Like, trying to attack this. You know what? I'm okay with that. If not, it's, it's there. I mean, we didn't draw anything, so we are really super behind on this game. So we need him to discard cards for us. That would be the best way. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. I need some cards. Uh, sure, I'll take it. And I guess I don't take this one. But now we should be able to attack for five and be okay. We can attack for five. We can attack for six here. I mean for five. Because in case he plays something out of life. Hmm. I mean, it feels bad, but I'm gonna just attack for... Yeah, I guess if it feels bad, but... Let's see, maybe he hits another four and then I don't have to destroy this one. Uh, I don't want to, but I think it's the, the best play here I don't want him to attack me with that car it feels bad what do he got Struzen a 2k all right I mean it's not bad he's a three life he's not a uh, the best spot either Honestly, you can attack me for seven for all you want. It's, it's okay. I'll trash a life. I think this matchup is about forcing the um, this kind of interactions. And here, I'm just gonna do this one here. And I have Sabo now, so I feel more confident in doing that play. I'm just gonna need a two, so I'm gonna attack for two. And then five. Right, that's enough. Hold on, let me double check. Five, two, yeah, that's enough. Three, five. And then we go here. We go zero. We got this one. 
use action. One, two, three, I guess. One, two. Let me cycle. What do I cycle? Maybe one of the Rebecca's is not as good. Uh, we can do double, like, yeah, we can do this next turn. I don't think we're going to be playing Dragon this game. I mean, you know what? We might. Depending on what my opponent does, to be honest. If he attacks here, it's a possibility. Because him going for... If he doesn't play anything big or something like that, I don't know. But most likely he is, so... We should not trust our opponent on doing this. He's so going to attack the Lushi? Yeah, I guess he might as well attack the Lushi, right? Yeah. But now we can play the Dragon. Doesn't feel as bad, to be honest. Oh. But what is this? Well, now we get to, to do a much better play here. To attack for five, six. Five, six, five. I mean, five, six, six, actually. Ah, uh, that's fine still. Six. Do you have another one? Hmm, that's a bit more problematic. Uh, here for five. I guess we should play double blocker here, eh? Yeah. I think it's much better here. If I play double blocker. Get a 2k. Um, not play anything. Then just get a 2k. Not play anything. Let him go. Better go for game this turn. Now that he just took everything, then I mean, I have to. <laughs> that was uh, something that I was not expecting. So many triggers out of life there, so... I have to change my plan. Okay. How many of those do you have? Is the question. Only one? I trust you only have one. Combo out of that one. We have one, two, and nine king worth of combo power. I think we can survive. Uh, no. Two here. Should take this one. Use. Oh, we're gonna lose to this. God damn. Yeah, he got it. Ah, it feels bad. <laughs> he got everything there. That A star one was kind of like an F you to me, but what can of I do? Of course, we're going to play the mirror. Uh, I'm going to choose to go second, of course. This hand is actually very good, so I'm going to keep. Don't need to mulligan this hand. It's very decent. going to draw. Player brand new. Let's get, I guess, the 2K counter is the only thing that I can get. Let's cycle. Uh, I think cycling here, we're going to go uh, four drop, uh, not this one. So and then we're going to do this one and this one. So this one is not his time just yet. And yeah, I mean, just let him go. Of course, here. Uh, here for five, I should combo this one, I think. Don't need to take too much damage early on. Especially where he's probably going to probably going to do a, a home blaze play. Um, let's see what he does. Oh, uh, that's bad because I don't have a play here. I guess I can play. You know what? I could play the just the Borsalino here. I get the Sakatsuki because I just don't have any other play that is better than that. So might as well just do that. One, two. Getting. Oh, mm, this is bad. I know. I guess if he removes this one by battle, he's fine. So yeah, let's do this. This one. 
Remove that one because the problem is I need to pl make a play this turn or else I'm, I'm just like too far behind. And he's gonna do probably Humblaze anyway. And if he doesn't remove the Rob Lushi, then we're chilling then. Yeah, so he's gonna remove it and he's gonna deal me a damage, but he's, at least he's not gonna deal two damage, so that, that feels good. Uh, here we can do at least a Rebecca play, doesn't feel that bad. And we have the Kaido, so we already know where we're going here. Now we do lose a Lushi, so we have two Lushis on, the, on Grave, which doesn't feel great. Uh, but I guess we're gonna... We could also just attack 5-5. Five, five. That doesn't feel bad. Yeah. 5-7 if he takes it, but I don't think he's gonna take it. 5-5 five, five is fine, however. I want to take cards out of his hand. Yeah, he's probably just gonna take it anyway. And then let's play back. I mean, we can get a 2k counter. We can get a Sabo. Next time we're gonna do this. And the following turn we're gonna do this. So definitely just getting the 2k counter here. Not gonna play anything, but if he wants to deal me damage this turn, he's gonna have to deal some. Yeah, you got it, that one, that's fine. I'm gonna attack it next turn, I guess. But if he wants to get rid of this one, then he has to play a Borsalino into this one, that's fine. I mean, she already got me a value, so I'm okay with this. No, combo out of that one. Now we get to attack this one for free, which it doesn't feel bad. Draw. Ooh, Rebecca, that's very, very good. Definitely going to do this one into this one. We got a second Lushi, which is what I would a little bit worry about. Although we're still not out of the clear because we need to find the fourth Lushi, actually. Because of how it works on this matchup, I'm going to need another Rebecca-Lushi combo. And if I don't find that, it's going to feel really bad. Uh, I do want to cycle. Um, all these cards are good, however. Let's cycle this one, I guess. And then he's going to Rebecca, Rebecca Lushi combo, I assume. That's probably what's going to happen. Or remove this guy somehow, some way. I assume it, it, it probably includes that Rebecca. Because now it doesn't include a 7 drop. I don't, if I don't tap with this, oh my lord. <laughs> Please. No, yeah, it's not, I was never in, in tapping with that one. That's for sure. But at least I didn't take, like, two damage. I'm only taking one damage here, and that's fine. I mean, this is a great card in this matchup. Uh, he has the Borsalino coming into this turn, but... I mean, I feel okay with just playing the Dragon. Then just cycling this one. Let him go. This is not as much pressure as you might want, so... He might remove a dragon, but if he doesn't play his, the dragon on his own, uh, we're going to be in a good spot here. So he's a... And then next turn, we can we can remove his dragon, and we can do a lot. And unless he plays Sabo. Does he play Sabo? No, he doesn't have a Sabo. So what do you got? Rebecca? But Rebecca doesn't remove what he needs to remove. So this is good for me. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's not... That's not how we roll. Combo that one. Combo out of that one, too. I do like the man cherry here, but... I don't think we can just combo the two case because we don't have that much counter power. And then combo out of this one. I think so. I think it's important. Then let's do trash this guy. Uh, okay, so we have how much done? Let's see. We can kill this one with Kaido, so we can we should try to aim to destroy this one, which we're gonna do immediately actually. Yeah. So we're gonna do Hina. We're just going to kill his whole board, right? Yeah. Hina on this one. Then Houndblaze. On this one, this one, right? And then we get to attack this one minus on this one. I guess we even have one more done to use there. 
Then we attack the uh, this guy, and then we go rob Lucy. Use action. Uh, let's get back this one, this one, and this one, I guess. And uh, I think it's fine for now. But we have now the control of the board. And we can remove a dragon if we want to. Like if we place a dragon. So he's going to have to play with this amount of cards for the rest of the game. And we're going to play with the dragon for the rest of the game. And he's not going to play. Oh, he's playing Isho. I see. That's a different tech. I mean, it's not bad. Maybe if you play an Isho into your dragon, that feels really good. So you know what? I don't dislike that play, uh, that, that card in this match. I should actually play a Rebecca now that I think about it. But he just plays that one, which it's fine, I guess. But now we can just attack him for so much. Now that we get to untap with this board, my lord. Um, Let's see, I don't need, I, I don't need Hina. Well, I don't need this one, honestly. I just don't want to... I just don't want to fall prey from... Nah, nah. I have to play the Rebecca. Because if he, if he does Hound Blaze and something else, I'm just I'm going to feel really bad, yeah. I'm just going to play the Rebecca. On this one. Let's just do Hound Blaze. Uh, on this one. And then let's attack with that one first. I'm just gonna remove every card that he plays. Uh, just seven. And then eight. And then ten. That's fine. I'm not I'm not gonna destroy this one, but he has to block somewhere, I think. I mean he could have more two cookie counters, I guess, and try to go for game with a uh, Rebecca. Okay, fair enough. He doesn't. But now this this board is uncontrollable with this many cards in hand. It's just not possible. He might hound blaze my thing, but yeah. That doesn't do it. It still has to deal me the damage, which I can just combo out of. And then whatever he plays, I just get to Borsalino it. Yeah, exactly. Just don't need to take the damage here. And then whatever he plays is just not going to happen. He can man cherry and... I mean, I can just go for game now that I know exactly his hand, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, just, just go this way, right? I don't need this. Ah, uh, now I have hand blaze, so it's more than enough. Here, here. And then we know he has exactly seven, so it doesn't matter here. Uh, just stuck him with dragon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were able to play dragon. My opponent didn't play a dragon, so that's how it goes when when that's the case. And he was playing Isho. He was playing other cards. He was he wasn't playing Kaido. Not that much I can tell you. <laughs> 